Good evening, Titans, and welcome back. Tonight, we're going to look at uh, some more things with Paul Nomials. Uh, today in class, he did some guided notes over uh, definitions and what polynomials were and writing them in standard form and being able to name them and those types of things. Well, this evening we're going to talk about adding and subtracting polynomials. There are two ways that we can add or subtract polynomials, and one of them is called the vertical form. And the vertical form is when you align the two polynomials on top of each other by lining up like terms. And so in this example, we have 12y to the third plus y squared minus 8y plus 3. And we're going to add that to 6y to the third minus 13y plus 5. So we write the first polynomial, and then we write the second one down below it with the plus sign there. And we just make sure we line up like terms and notice the second one did not have a y squared term, so there's a space there for the y squared. If you wanted to put a zero y squared there, I suppose you could. And now we just add. And so we have 3 plus 5 is 8. We have negative 8y plus negative 13y. And again, those minus signs, we can make them plus and negatives if we wanted to, plus a negative. And we're still adding negative 8y plus negative 13y to get negative 21y plus y squared, and then we have 12y to the third, and 6y to the third is 18y to the third. The most important part that you have to remember here is that we are now just adding like terms. And when we add like terms, we must remember that we don't do anything with the variable exponents. We only add the coefficients. We keep the variable parts the same. And then this is your final answer. Again, remember, like terms must have the same variables raised to the same exponents in order to, to combine them. We want to make sure we don't get confused with some of the rules that we learned in Chapter 8. We are now just, in this particular lesson, just adding like terms. Now, the other way is to just do it in the horizontal method. But here is a subtraction problem. And just like we've always done with subtraction, we're going to go ahead and change subtraction to addition by adding the opposite. And so as you see here, we have 2x squared plus 11x minus the binomial 15x minus 4. So we're going to just leave the first binomial, 2x squared plus 11x, exactly the way it is. We're going to change the minus sign to a plus sign and then do the opposite of what's inside. So a positive 15x becomes a negative 15x and minus 4 will become plus 4. Now we just add our like terms. There are no other 2x squared terms. Then we have 11x and a negative 15x is my negative 4x plus 4. And then if we want to make sure we write it without even the plus the negative, we could write it as 2x squared minus 4x plus 4. And that would be considered the horizontal method. So again, here's just a, an example problem here. We call it slate practice here, but I'm just going to do an example for you. And again, it's a plus. So we're just going to, we could do it by grouping our like terms together. We have the 2x squared plus the 4x squared. We have the negative 3x plus the 7x. And we have the 5 plus the minus 2. And if we combine our like terms, we'd have 6x squared plus 4x plus 3. And again, we write our answer in standard form, which if you recall, is the highest exponent of the variable all the way down to the constant. And there's finding the sum. Here's a geometry connection. We're asked to find the perimeter of the polygon. Well, this is a rectangular, so we also have to remember that there's a 2x squared over here. And this is x squared plus x. And again, we're just going to combine all like terms. Well, there's a 2x squared, x squared, 2x squared, and x squared. So this is 1 and 1. So 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 will be 6x squared plus, and then we have an x plus another x, which would be 2x. And that's the perimeter of that rectangle. Here, we're going to do a subtraction problem. So if you recall, we're going to change this subtraction to an addition by adding the opposite. 
So we'll keep 3x squared minus 2x plus 8. We're going to change the minus to a plus and now do the opposite, which would make this a negative x squared and then plus 4. And now just combine your like terms. A lot of times I'll just kind of underline like terms. We have 3x squared plus a negative, this would be considered negative 1x squared. It would give me 2x squared. There are no other x terms, so that's just going to be minus 2x. And then we have this plus 8 and plus 4, which will make it plus 12. And again, it's written in standard form. I always like to start with the highest degree term and just continue down. So when I get my answer, it's already written in standard form. I'd like you to try these on your own. Here are a couple uh, problems dealing with finding the sum. So if you'd want to pause the video here for a moment, then work these. Then I will, when you start it up again, I'll reveal the answers for you. So hopefully you have your answers now. And again, if we're adding here and we look at our like terms, we have 3x squared and negative 2x squared, which would be given x squared. I have 5x and negative 6x, which would be negative 1x. And then there is no other constant term, such as plus 4. So I have x squared minus x plus 4. Here again, it's just an addition. So I have 3d squared and negative 4d squared, which would be negative 1d squared. Then I have a 5d and negative 5d, which would be 0d, so I don't have a d at all. And then negative 1 plus 2 would be plus 1. So my final answer would be negative 1d squared plus 1. And in the perimeter problem here, we just add our like terms. Well, again, we're adding all sides together. There is no other a to the third term, so that's going to be my first term. Then I have just this one a squared term, so it's going to be plus 2a squared. Now I have an a plus 2a plus another a. So again, those are 1s. So 1 plus 1 plus 2 would be plus 4a. And then I have 1 plus 1 of constants, which would be plus 2. So the perimeter of that triangle would be a to the third plus 2a squared plus 4a plus 2. And then the last thing I'd like you to do here is to try these two on your own. So again, pause the video for a moment and remember how we found the difference of two polynomials by changing them into addition by adding the opposite. So go ahead and pause it. Alright, welcome back and we'll go ahead and reveal the answer here. So again, I'm going to go 4x squared plus 3x plus 2, change this minus to a plus and now inside there, everything goes its opposite. So negative 2x squared plus 3x minus 7. So again, we have the polynomials. I combine my like terms. So my x squared, I have 2x squared. 3x plus 3x would be 6x. And I have 2 plus negative 7, which would be minus 5. So I have 2x squared plus 6x minus 5. And this last one might be a little trickier just because it says Subtract x squared plus 2x minus 4 from 3x squared minus 2x plus 3. So that means actually that the 3x squared minus the 2x plus 3 would come first. Then we subtract the x squared plus 2x minus 4. And now if we go ahead and change the subtraction to addition, we have 3x squared minus 2x plus 3 plus, it becomes negative x squared, negative 2x plus 4. Now combine our like terms, we would get 2x squared, negative 2x plus negative 2x is negative 4x, and 3 plus 4 would be plus 7. And again, check those over with what you had, and if you have questions, make sure you're writing these down. Uh, take an opportunity here to reflect on what you've learned, and be ready to discuss this tomorrow in class. Uh, be able to explain to your partner you know, the steps that you would take to add polynomials or to subtract polynomials. Thanks for your attention and uh, have a great evening. Made with DoodleCast Pro.